Okay, today <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of like uh, discuss with you a bit about you know the uh, Fed uh, uh, Powell's uh, <clears throat> rate hikes of zero point seven five percent on uh, Thursday. <clears throat> oh, sorry, on Wednesday. So and uh, this was a very sudden uh, move. Um, <clears throat> I think um, it was pretty much based on. Uh, last uh, Friday's uh, uh, inflation data of uh, over 8.9%. Um, of course, um, there are many analysts believe that 8.9% um, uh, inflation data is pretty much uh, massage. In fact, uh, the real inflation data could be in the range of double digit, uh, digits and above. <clears throat> um, of course, you know, you've got the uh, essential, which is the, they call it the non-core data as well as the core data, which is the non-essentials like discretionary goods, services and all that. <coughs> and um, I think uh, you remember um, uh, this um, Jamie uh, and Dave Damon uh, of uh, JP Morgan. Uh, he did mention earlier that uh, there will be uh, an economic hurricane coming in. And plus, he did mention this sentence. Um, <clears throat> the Fed will be forced to increase interest rates, um, which I think um, that will actually means that um, it will lead to, will force a recession. Of course, uh, <clears throat> recession hasn't actually arrived yet. You know, we have had, uh, it needs two quarters of uh, negative GDP. We have had one and there'll be a second one coming. <clears throat> um, the, the thing I think uh, today is, um, why is market react today on Friday uh, very negatively, even though there was a date cat bounce uh, on Thursday, <clears throat> whereby it went up a bit and then now it's like going down again, capitulation kind of uh, uh, period, uh, like what uh, the famous YouTuber uh, Chicken Genius uh, did mention. Um, I think um, the market is actually kind of like feel that uh, first they don't trust the Fed with this very sudden move uh, up to 0.75% increase in interest rates, which they have been kind of like hinting all the while that they will do a 0 0.5 uh, gradual rise to uh although they are very much behind the curve you know they try to kind of like get to a two percent so to say healthy inflation rates that they wanted <clears throat> in a very uh, in a much slower manner um but uh, if you look at interest uh, inflation rates uh, in let's say a 10 percent or nine percent you know a two percent uh, inflation rates uh, rate heights are just a quarter uh, they are, you know, of course, uh, it's always, even if you take a very um, lax approach to catching up to inflation rates, um, you know, by considering that, you know, there are so many economic financial tools that you can use to reduce inflation, you know, you don't have to just singularly use uh, interest rates as one of the only tools to fight, you know, you don't have to be the Paul Volcker style in the 70s to increase interest rates up to 8% or even exceed it to um, kind of um, uh, match the inflation rate to bring it down. You can go halfway, but now a quarter of the way definitely is not convincing uh, to the market. <laughs> and of course, it brings less trust in the market. But I think right now, um, uh, you know, this 0.75%, um, the, 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 the second point I'd like to bring into, uh, to, to you is, um, it actually will it or will it not kind of bring the inflation down? Uh, and I think in the previous minutes, uh, fat minute, minutes as well, I did mention, you know, uh, bringing demand down by increasing interest rates, meaning hurting everyone's, uh, consumers, uh, pockets so that we will travel less or eat less. Um, on all these uh, essential items, um, they may may not um, um, bring the price of gas or petrol or energy prices down, um, but it will just have a double 
create double problem of actually uh, hurting a consumer's uh, pocket and spending powers. So <clears throat> because um, the energy crisis that we are going through right now, of course, you know, there are analysts saying that um, we are just at the very beginning of um, the energy crisis. Let's wait till winter. As you can see, and in this particular headlines, I'd like to share with you, poles towed together firewoods amid soaring energy prices just to be prepared for the winter, which is just six months away. And plus, you can see um, the Freeport LNG get fire that happened, you know, a few days ago as well. <clears throat> you know, I'm not sure uh, these are actually a sabotage or whatever. You know, they are the largest UX export plants producing liquefied natural gas. Uh, so there's a delay to um, US uh, sending uh, gases to um, Europe as well. So of course, you know, Europe now, uh, the I, we just hope that of course, you know, unlikely that they will turn against um, US, uh, the NATO alliance and uh, bow down to Russia and probably China behind. You know, um, there's this uh, look of fear that there's this regime change, you know, circularism happening right now. Uh, where if um, US and China were to um, control all the essential item, i.e. energy, uh, third biggest producer, and now they are doing direct deals in different denominated currencies and um, <clears throat> to India and all that, people are buying as well, even South Africa. And, you know, China is buying a lot of manuf cheap manufacturing at uh, they are the highest, uh, biggest buyer right now of all these ch uh, cheap manufacturing machines right now. And if they were to unify with uh, Taiwan, they will, you know, uh, be a leader in the chip and they will be, they'll create a shortage as well in all that. And uh, you never know what will happen. So basically what I'm trying to say is, you know, the, the Fed 0.75% uh, um, will does zero or just little to nothing to, to try to reduce inflation. Um, so it actually um, doesn't really help. Uh, the next recession, the next uh, topic I'd like to share with you in my next video is to talk about, you know, uh, which one is the greater evil, whether it is uh, to, to try to tame inflation uh, or to allow a recession coming and uh, which one is the lesser evil for uh, US and the world. Uh, of course, in this case, uh, the Fed's priority, I think they didn't, man didn't mention, is actually to protect the US dollars. They, they want to make sure that US dollars is always remain the strongest and the market and the most tradable. But uh, once the US dollar increase, um, you will hurt other uh, in emerging countries as well. So just not sure whether where the alliance will go to uh, if um, uh, other current other countries are continuously uh, having problems with um, this uh, 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 inf inflation and uh, low current low exchange rates to the US dollars. So thank you very much. Uh, hope you like the video and please uh, like and subscribe.